Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit on my fall haul, <laughs> my fall haul. So I'm just going to show you the pieces that I have had for years. I just have one tote. I'm not going to use all of it this year. Um, well, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I got some thrifted pieces as well. So I want to show you what I will be working with the next few weeks as we fully transition into fall when I'll use the pumpkins. Um, first, I'm going to start with the thrifted pieces, which is just a couple of pieces that I recently got. Um, nothing major because I really couldn't find anything good at my local thrift stores. So bummer. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get started. So this first piece, really tiny, but really cute. It is an acorn. <laughs> and it just has a little lid and I don't know if it's um, copper, I guess, because it does have some, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's very worn. <laughs> So that is the first piece. Um, let's see, second piece, let me grab it. Not one piece, but a bunch of pieces. So wooden spoon. Um, and then two of these rolling pins are new. These two are new. And then this cross which just says uh, mail pouch tobacco. And it is a two quart. It is uh, Robinson's, Robinson Rand's Bottom, Roseville, Ohio, USA. So that'll be fun to decorate with. Next piece, not really fall, but I'm still gonna include it, <laughs> but it's super cute, um, is this little, I don't know what you want to call it, um, thing, little hanging thing. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to call it, but cute, super cute. I'm going to put it in the kitchen and that was a dollar. <laughs> and then let's see. Again, not fall, but really cute. Is this really cute, tiny little? can see it there. Tiny little candle holder. Super cute. Little flowers on it. Next piece is a piece of clothing and it's super soft. It's by Jessica Simpson and it's just a pair of like terracotta colored lounge pants and I'm not very tall and I don't think that they're gonna come all the way down to my ankles. So maybe they're just like capri, um, capri length, I don't know, high waters. But let me show you. I don't know. They'll be super cute when it's time to wear them. That'll be super, super cozy, comfy. They're really soft. And then the next piece is I feel is one of those paint night paintings, which I have a few of them myself, um, but this is super cute. <laughs> and it's, it's signed by the artist, whoever made it. <laughs> but look how cute that is. Oh, I saw that and I'm like, this is perfect. Pumpkin-y gives all the fall vibes. So, so fun. So, so fun. Um, that piece was like $1.50, I think. All right. So the next piece is something I just stumbled upon at my little thrift store that's here in town. My little junky thrift store. <laughs> um, I saw it and I'm like... Oh my goodness, I have to have that. 
I'm not into mushrooms. It is a mushroom piece. I am not into mushrooms, but it is in absolute perfect condition <clears throat> that I couldn't pass it up. And I only paid $2 for it. So let me show you. Look at this piece. She's, my head, it's big. It is a big piece. And it's just like, just a big jar. Apparently I looked them up. Um, it does come in a set of like two other pieces, but I didn't have time to comb through all of the buckets at the little thrift store. So I just went home with this piece, which is, more than enough um so i'm super excited to decorate with that um a piece that i already had uh, i purchased last year was a tablecloth for the dining room table so that will go on um let's see Okay, I did buy a wreath. I found one. <laughs> and it is this guy. It's really pretty. I looked it up and apparently it is from Big Lots. And who would have known? So I got it for five bucks. And I think um, when I was looking online, it was like $22 from Big Lots. So that will look really good on the front door or maybe on the pantry door here. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where we put it. Okay. Two pieces that are not fall that I just wanna throw in here really quickly are these picture frames. Found two of them and it goes perfect with the decor in the house. And I remember my parents having one of these for me and I just got so excited. <laughs> but it is the little grade kindergarten through senior collage picture frame. Oh my goodness, it's like a little schoolhouse with the doggy down there <laughs> and the flag. Um, this one clearly is still in wrapping, um, but the other one, the wrapping was off. So, and they were $3.99 each. This one still has the wrapping paper on the back of it. Look at that. And this one, a little kid wrote on, it says $12.25 of 90. Um, Megan, age three, looks like she she drew on the back of it there. <laughs> but I'm, I'm kind of stoked about that because we have a picture wall right here, a gallery wall, and I do want to fill it in some more. So I know um, things these days, decor trends these days is like not to have your family pictures up, but we live here. I have these pictures. I'm going to proudly display them. So, okay. Not fall, but I will be putting them up. Okay. Now on to the pieces that are in this tote box. I'm not going to use it all. Just want to show you and make a big mess around me here. So let's see what I have that I may or may not be using this fall season. Okay, hello pumpkin sign. I'm kind of, sorry, it's getting dark in here. Um, I'm kind of over the whole word signs. I know I kind of have a couple pieces around um, or maybe I'll use it outside. I don't know, but hello pumpkin. Yay, nay, I don't know, maybe. I do have a table runner, 
which I might put over on, I've got like a little lamp over here, um, like a little table that I might put it on. It needs to be washed, but it says falling leaves, autumn calling. So I might use that. Now, this piece I made, oops, I made like two years ago, and maybe, I might use them. It's kind of orangey, but whatever, I'll tie a little bow around them. So we had some leftover wood, and I just made like little stacked books, things, I don't know. I don't know what you want to call them, but I made that a couple years ago. Um, let's see, what else? These are from Hobby Lobby and not really crazy about them but maybe I'll use them, maybe not. I got these guys. I think these were like on clearance. I think last year they still had these. That is Halloween. I'm not going to show those. Okay. This tote is mainly pumpkins. <laughs> so I'm not going to be decorating with too much for my pre-fall. Um, this little pumpkin, um, it's very boho. It was from TJ Maxx, I think. <clears throat> I've got this little wooden pumpkin. I've got, I don't know where these came from, but probably Hobby Lobby or Target maybe. I think it was probably Target Dollar Spot. These guys, I like these guys. I like the texture on them. I think this is also part of that Target Dollar Spot pumpkins. There's another one. Got some chevron in it, on it. These next three pumpkins I had made, so I definitely will be using them. This lady made them out of sweaters. So there's that one. That one, and then a bigger one. These are so pretty and so easy to make too. Okay, oh, here's another. <laughs> this is actually my daughter's little pumpkin. <laughs> Put that in her room, made out of a sweater. Um, and then of course, Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, little pumpkins. I used to decorate a tiered tray, which I still have the tiered tray. Um, it's just put away. I might bring it out um, and decorate it. I think most of the smaller pumpkin-y items I would put on the tiered tray. I know for sure I put these guys on there. But this little pumpkin or gourd. And then this one. This one's kind of primitive looking to me. And I thought I had another piece. I thought I had another one that went with this guy, but he's not in the box here. So, lots of pumpkins. This tote really is all pumpkins. <laughs> and I really like this guy. It's felt. Little stacked pumpkins there. Felt like um, like a foot tall. All right, 
bitch. There's this little guy here. The wooden pumpkin. I think this came from Hobby Lobby. Another little felt <laughs> purple pumpkin. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize this was going to be my pumpkin pumpkin video. And then I think this is a napkin ring. And I probably came from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I think I bought it from the thrift store. And... That is it. There were a couple of Halloween things in this bin, but now that I am have all this stuff in front of me that I'm looking at, um, I do need some floral picks. Oh, sorry, do you like my little earrings here? I had these, um, I bought them when I lived out of, when I lived back in California, I found a gal who did the clay earrings and look at these. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, I do need some floral picks. I do not have any. And really that's all I want to purchase from Hobby Lobby is their floral picks. Oh. I am done with my chores here at home. I'm going to eat a little breakfast and I think Hobby Lobby should be open by now. I don't even know what time it is. They might not be open until 10. I know back in California, they weren't open until 10. Let me see. It is 9.50. So I will get there when they are open. So perfect. Um, just want some fall picks. I have a couple of vases that I could use like this one. This is a beautiful um, Pioneer Woman vase that actually I was going to use for water to be like fancy. Um, keep chilled water in it and then use it. But I think I'm just going to use it for flowers. Um, I have a couple of Ray Dunn vases that I turn around so it's just all white. Um, I can use those. I have a utensil caddy that I want to spray paint because it's uh, like hammered silver and I think I would like to spray paint it or hand paint it um, and use that as a flower base as well. So, um, oh, blankets, as far as blankets, I love blankets. Um, I gave my cat one of my blankets and I probably should not have, I can wash it, whatever, but it's this, this one right here. <clears throat> I'll just bring up her little box <laughs> that she lays in. This um, blanket, perfect for fall. I might have to find her another blanket and take this one back. <laughs> and then I do have a red throw blanket in the living room. So let's go to Hobby Lobby and see what kind of picks I can find. Yes. Let's go. I literally just ran in with all my stuff. So it's time to show you what I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Now, mind you, I have not gone in years. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos regarding fall stems. So I was just kind of winging it. So let's see what I got. Okay, so first we'll start with the non-stemmy stuff. I'm just going to randomly pull this stuff out of these bags. Um, so first thing is the Robert Stanley Signature Collection Fall Stainless Steel Pitcher. And it is beautiful. It's that hammered look um, and of course right now the fall stuff is 40% off so I got that I got a four pack of tapers in like this 
red maroon color. They're unscented. I got two of the pumpkin spice sachets. Oh, this smells so good. Two of those. I got this little oval pumpkin floral picture. And this is for the downstairs bathroom, not fall, but it's for the girls really. <laughs> but it says wash your hands, but how pretty is that? The font is pretty, I like the shape. So we'll put that in the bathroom down there. Actually, it's just right here. I broke one of my old vintage mugs and I came across this one and it is too adorable, I had to get it. Look how cute this is. The mama and her baby deer. They also had a raccoon um, and something else. But this is just the sweetest. <laughs> Can't wait to drink coffee out of that. And this is not a fall item, but it was on clearance for $2.74. I figured I got some stems. I need some sort of little vessel to put something in. Okay. This is so pretty. It's kind of texturedy it's textured and it's so pretty so this was also 40 percent off i feel like watercolor would be beautiful in there i wonder if anyone's done that i could attempt it it might be kind of fun so i had this in something like this in my amazon cart and I wanted to buy it. It was like $7, no big deal. Um, but I saw it at Hobby Lobby or something similar, so I just thought I'd get it. But it is a, um, like a gauze table runner. Um, for this table that I'm sitting at, I was thinking, ooh, see, here we go. Let's see if this will work. So tablecloth, and then gauze runner, like all down the middle with uh, my various uh, brass candlestick holders and something in the middle. I don't know. This is gonna be kind of fun. <laughs> so I got that. Um, okay, two pieces of non-floral and then we'll get back to the Hobby Lobby florals. Um, these two pieces were bought at a thrift store. Okay, this was $5. Now, I am not keeping it for this arrangement up here because I'm not really digging that, but I got it for this uh, basket right here because I saw something like this similar at Hobby Lobby and they were not on sale. And I do not think that on sale that they would be $5. So I went ahead and picked this up to use with one of the florals arrangements that I bought today. So I got that. I'm trying to be creative here. <clears throat> now this piece, I do not have any of these. Um, I have a friend who collects these and she's got a ton. Um, and I've seen these at TJ Maxx and Home Goods and all that, but five bucks, I thought I would snag it. And I was getting compliments as I was walking around the store with it. Like, oh my gosh, where did you find that? Found it on the ground actually. Um, but this glass pumpkin, $5. She is beautiful. 
get her all cleaned up. No markings on it. Um, I kind of wish there was a hole in the bottom. It can stick um, lights in there. But five bucks, guys, five bucks. Okay. Now onto the Hobby Lobby florals. Um, I have no rhyme or reason to any of this. I was just like, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Let's throw that in the cart. And then, you know, way over budget. Actually, I didn't have a budget, but I didn't think I was spending this much. Okay, not, um, not fall, but still pretty. These little picks, one pick actually. So, I mean, it's kind of cute. Maybe chop it off a little bit, but how cute is that for like a summer, summer, uh, summer, a little arrangement <laughs> or fall, whatever. It's yellow. It's pretty. <clears throat> okay. I got two of these arrangements picks whatever you want to, i guess they're called picks huh so i got two of those these I love little sunflowers I think sunflowers are my favorite flower I got two of those okay this guy was stunning and how pretty is this already got like a um, like twine jute wrapped around it but that is so pretty I should not have spent this much on it but it's gorgeous um, it was $30 and then the 40% off so I think I paid like $18 for it that's so pretty <clears throat> I got the hydrangeas. I got four of these. Just look how pretty that is. I cannot wait to get all of this styled. I'm not here. I'll just put these right up in there. Well, Trim them down a little bit, but fold the fold the stems. It's really pretty. Okay, down to my last few here. Okay, I got three, no, two of these. The next two, I got two each. some little dainty picks. I don't know what any of these flowers are. I thought that they used to say what kind of flower they were, but I guess not. Oh, I think that was at Michael's. Michael's I think says what floral they are. So I got two of those. And then my last ones, I got three of these. And this is natural brilliance. Like we got one that's not opened yet and one that's opened. I do not know what kind of flowers these are. They are so pretty. And I feel like I don't have enough vases for all these florals. <laughs> that's where the thrift store is gonna come in handy, <laughs> is to get some vases for these pieces. So 
that is my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to start getting decorated in here. Um, I'm probably hoping this week I can get the dining room. I'll start with the dining room and then the kitchen and then probably the living room. Um, get each room cleaned up and then decorate each one. So oh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I cannot wait to get these pieces in place and I hope you um, like what you saw and please do come back and watch the decorate with me. Until then, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, editing Vanessa here really quick. At the end of my videos, I am going to add in some outtakes. I thought it would be really fun to see the pieces, the clips that don't make it into the videos, bloopers, camera falls, whatever. I don't know what this setting does, but we're just going to check it out. It's on cinematic. Oh, cinematic. It wants to, it wants to follow my face. Okay, I got it. will show you all of my <laughs> all my fall decor there's a couple pieces over there that's Halloween that's not but yeah okay let's go